Let's start. Okay. Um, guys, you can uh, yeah, you can uh, chat with me, okay, if you want. Okay, let's start with uh, euro dollar first. Okay, so today is uh, two one seven September twelfth, and I believe that a lot of you guys have a, have a fantastic week last week, right? Because we have a very nice loan of the gold, right? And also we have a very a nice profit of the sterling Aussie. Uh, let's cover for this week's uh, markets. Okay, so first I'm going to touch about the euro dollar. Okay, the euro have a uh, in the day, on the day the Taraki, uh, the ECB meeting, right, Euro actually uh, went up, okay, it's actually have a very, very strong rally. And then the second day, it actually breaks a high, okay. However, uh, the daily candle here, the daily candle here is kind of a reversal candle. Do you agree? Do you agree that this candle is kind of a, a reversal, reversal signal because we found a very, very long pin here. Can you see that? Because a definition of a pin bar is one third. One third is the, for the body and two third is for the week. Okay, so this is a, actually a very strong pin bar, right? Uh, initially, we have our, our we, we also have our harmonic patterns, right? Okay. So these harmonic patterns, okay, if your stop loss is about 1.2100, you, you won't, you'll be fine. Uh, if your stop loss is about 1.2060, you'll be hit stop loss by the pin. However, after this pin, pin bar formed, you can still have a chance to re-enter, right? Because we know that the selling force is so strong, right? It actually eats up all the bullish momentum, okay? So that it can uh, close price, closing price is about the, one third of the, the whole bar. So with this information, okay, in the next candle, what you can do? You can short, right? You can short, in, and it actually in the, on the Monday, it was yesterday, the euro actually, you know, have a gap down, right? Gap down. So uh, below this bar here, you can start to short. This is your entry. Your stop loss is above the, above the pin, and your risk, your risk is about this much. So you are going to have a like one to one and one to two will be here, okay? Which is about 1.1800, okay? 1.1800 will be your, uh, the shortings, the shorting positions uh, target, okay? Let's just see what will happen later, okay? So uh, if based on this pin bar, this is pin bar and we want to have a short and after the, it breaks the low of this pin, your short is triggered, right? And the stop loss is above 1.2090, and you're looking for at least a minimum one to one or one to two. So let's just uh, uh, see what, what we have. Okay, so based on this pin bar, okay, one to two will be about uh, here. All right, one to two. Okay, our risk is about uh, 69.8 pips. So your, your one to two will be. Uh, Okay, here, 1.1880. So uh, if you are doing this, and your target will be at 1.1880, and then you're going to have a, another target of 1.1819, okay? So uh, for the Euro dollar, I'm no longer, uh, I'm no longer so bullish because uh, it, inst instead of breaking high and uh, higher, it actually formed a very, very long pin bar here. It makes this 1.2, 070 are invalid or high, okay? So, uh, which tells us the momentum of the settlement it comes in and uh, uh, all the way, let's look left, okay? Where is the support? The support should be here, okay? So support should be here at this uh, 1.18 or 29, okay? So I think the Euro may all the way pull back to here, okay? So if you're having a, a shorting position, I think you can, that, uh, but do take notice that if you don't have a short position right now, you don't want to chase the price. So you can, what you can do, you can go into the one, 30 minutes charts or one hour charts to find a pullback, right? Okay, in 30 minutes charts, what we have is, we know that, okay, this 
one, two, this level, we have a very strong support structure. Why? Why do we have a very strong support structure? Because we know that this is a resistance, okay? It breaks out, and look at the pin here. This pin happens on the ECB day, okay? So this pin telling you, okay, the, the setters push the, push the price back, and once it hit into the zone, it flies away. So this zone, this 1.1940, uh, sorry, 1.1928, okay, is a strong support level, okay? So you can consider to buy euro for short, for day intraday trade or for one hour trade, okay? You buy here, a stop loss is about 30 pips, and you are aiming for a reversal or patterns to go back to where? To this, this area. Okay, because this is a neckline breakout. Okay, the breakout pulls back and goes down again. Okay, so euro, I'm thinking for the uh, for a quick trade, you, you can take a buy. All right, stop loss below 1.19, and you're aiming for 1.22 or 1.220, 1.240. 1 and alter uh, alternatively, you can using the Fibonacci level for you to uh, find the correct accurate target so you just and uh, your long target should be 1.1989 and 1.208 two level so when a euro goes to this level okay you have to take profit of your long and maybe you can continue to short it to short it again any questions any questions so this is going to be my uh, priority all right because the price already drops a lot, we don't want to be a seller in the sell low. We want to buy low and sell high. Buy low, sell high, take profit and short again. And based on the price action here, if you see price action like this, okay, pink bar or a very, very strong bearish engulfing candle, you can continue to short. Okay? Are we clear? Reply me. Yeah. If you're clear, just reply me by one. If you're not clear, reply me by two. All right, let me see your response. Okay, all right, good. So let's go to the daily chart. What I want to tell you guys is, okay, for the daily chart, right, uh, there is a very, very long-term bullish channel for the euro. It is a very long-term bullish channel, okay, here, right? All the way from 1.1060. Okay, so be careful that the euro, so the overall trend, right, is still uptrend. However, we do see the high uh, failed to getting a higher high. So, what will happen is if the euro falls to here and it breaks out this level, breaks 1.18, will be very, very critical price. If the euro breaks down and pulls back, this place may be a very, very good place to find a long-term short. Long-term short, right? So the, the bias, bias detection area will be 1.18, okay? Together with the trend line, together with this, uh, this kind of a breaker support, right? The structure here, okay? So... You need to be very careful when the euro goes back to here, all right? It may just continue to go down and break out this level. Once this breakout happens, it just tells you the euro changed the trend. So if the trend is changed, you don't want to be a star buyer, you want to be a seller, right? Because the overall long uptrend change, right? It may become a downtrend. So although the euro is so bullish right now, but we, we don't know that when it's going to fall, right? Because uh, the ECB tells us they are going to still holding their easing policy, right? Most likely uh, in October, they will release more information. However, the, the, the easing will be uh, remained, okay? All the way to this end of this year or even, even longer. So I don't think the Euro have a, a very strong bullish momentum or fundamental area because the Euro is still, you know, negative interest and they still need the, all, the, all the easing money policies to to increase their uh, inflation. So that is from the uh, fundamental side. You just pay attention to this trend line, pay attention to this, this level, okay? If the higher high fail and make a lower low, 
it just tells you the trend may change. So this will be very, very critical for the euro, right? Okay, good. So let's move on to the sterling. <coughs> okay, the sterling is very strong, right? And uh, uh, I think in last week, uh, we, I think I, I, I identified a very nice uh, reversal trade for a buy from 1.2780. Okay, let me just tell you what what uh, what what the I what the I see at that time. Okay, so it's actually at uh, here. Uh, when the sterling breaks the wedge. Okay, so this will be a very very nice profitable pattern, right? It breaks up the wedge and immediately you find a six one eight pullback, right? And you buy from one point two seven nine seven or one point two eight zero zero. All right, your stop loss will be below 1.2770. Okay, I believe that some of my students still are holding this long, right? And then the, the sterling just keeps go to, goes up. And then you have a very nice pullback to the same area here. This will be a very nice pullback buy. If you're using the uh, structure to tell you guys here. Okay, break out, pulls back. So, this time you can still buy the euro buy the sterling and if you're looking more carefully you can see that it actually is still another 618 pullback you can see here right so this is the first 618 is from swing high, low to swing high but the initial point this we buy from here and then after very very strong rally to here we have another buy another 618 pullback buy so our uh, the sterling is going up, right? And you take some profit when it hits into very strong resistance, right? And right now, let's go to the four hour chart. We see that the sterling has just breaks a new high, right? It breaks this uh, highest point of this 1.3264. However, however, I want to emphasize that, right? Do we see a closing price higher than the level? Why now? Why now? Is the price already closed above this level or not? Did, did, the, did the price already closed up? No, right? This is a bullish candle. This is a pin bar or a small pin, and now it's actually doji, right? So, can we say that the sterling has a strong generating breakout right now? No, right? So we have to see a closing price above that to confirm or right, it is uh, maybe it become a very genuine breakout, okay? So do take notice that what happened to Euro? All right, let's go back to the Euro chart. What happened to Euro? Euro actually already behave the story, right? Already have, it actually have a, Euro have a breakout about, 1.2060. The euro have a higher high but cannot maintain. So the sterling probably it may go behave the same way. It gives you a you know kind of a feeling that it's going to be a breakout. However, it may follow the euro. Okay? So just be careful, don't buy. Don't buy at this level because it's going to maybe becomes a trap for the bull bulls. All right. Because euro have already performed this higher high but fake breakout. So I have a feeling that the sterling may behave the same way. So what you should do is you should mark this level, okay, and watch closely of the closing price and the price action around this level, which is 1.3268. And let's go back to 30 minutes charts. 30 minutes charts, what do we have? We have a strong rally, okay, push up, rejected. Push another way, rejected. Another time, reject as well. So now the sterling have a, have a minor support at its 1.3250 level. So watch for this level because this is a minor support, intraday support, okay? And what, what we, what you can looking for is you we want to look for a breakdown, okay? A breakout and pull back. And you want to short for the GBP dollar. And aim to this level 
for this first target, you have a, a about one to one point one five, one point uh, one point five to one re reward risk ratio. Okay, okay. Look for the breakout, breakdown, pullback to short, or you want to look for six one eight pullback short, right? So six one eight pullback short, which you measure from this swing high to swing low. Okay, six one eight level is about one point thirty two seventy three. So you can wait either it breaks down or either it breaks down and then pull back. This is your, this is a, a trading plan, okay? Or you can wait for the price to rally first. Okay, rally to 1.3273 and you have a better entry. The stop loss above the high, okay? And your target will be the same, okay? Are uh, good questions. If studying goes down, should we close the line of studying Aussie and studying CAD? No, you don't need to. Okay, because studying Aussie and studying Canada are cross pairs. So it's not only measure the studying's move, but it also measure the Aussie and Canadian dollar move. Uh, if the studying goes down, right, the, the dollar may go down, right? But the Aussie may force faster. So if the Aussie force more, the sterling audit may still goes up, right? Of course, of course, you need to take uh, notice that for the sterling Aussie, okay, we catch a very nice buy from 1.6199, okay, this extension move, okay? This is an extension move from this, this swing, okay? It goes to 1.618 extension, and we, I, I, uh, I published in TradingView said uh, we have an engulfing candle here, right? And we buy, okay? So from 1.62 to 1.65, you already win 300 pips. Of course, you can take some profit of a sterling Aussie. Do it, okay? Take some profit. But looking the daily chart, looking the daily chart, what do we have? The sterling Aussie makes a beautiful reversal, right? Okay, so it may tell you that if it continue to go up, at least it tests 1.7, okay? At least to test this. Okay, so the sterling Aussie make all the way goes up. Okay, flip up. The sterling Aussie you can still hold your alarm, no problems, right? Yeah, Thursday we have uh, some schedule for uh, sterling. Yes, so just I think for the sterling dollar you can take a short, just like a euro, right? And because your stop loss will be very very uh, near. Okay, you don't need to worry about the, too much about the risk, right? Uh, let's move on to gold. Okay, uh, the gold are is kind of a naughty boy because right, it have a gap. The gold have a gap. I think the 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 FXCM have already fixed the gap. Uh, let me just find the find the, the gold. Uh, or other like oh, let's see what 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 the forest will come stand. Okay, we have a gap down right. The gold. Okay, the. Forms a double top last Friday, okay? Double top, right? And breaks down the neckline, okay? And among they have a very, very huge gap, right? I was waiting for the gap to close and short it again. That is my original plan. You already see, do you see that? Do you see the, my, my plan in TradingView? I published, right? I, I'm using the Fibonacci level to find a pullback to short higher, right? They're here. Do you remember, right? Right. My original plan is, okay, it gaps down here. I don't want to sell low. I want to sell the rally, sell to the fill the gap, sell the 618. This is my original plan. So what happened to this plan now, guys? Can we still sell the 618 now? Because the 618 has changed, right? Changed. So what you should do, you should, Measure it again, right? So use the swing high to swing low from here to here. Where is the 618 level? Okay, 1344, right? 1344, which is exactly the neckline here, neckline. So gold, right, are is similar to euro, right? You can consider to buy the gold, okay? You can consider to take the small long, okay? or, or, or a quick long and aim for the price to finish to fill the gap 
and take your profit because that is still a 200 pips move. All right, your stop loss should be below this pin here, below this pin, because in this area, right, the gold is actually a strong support area. Remember, we have a gap here. All right, this is a gap that from the gold from the North Korea's news, right, and it pulls back to the same zone, right. So makes a support here, and we already have the price section telling you that. Okay, you see here, a strong sell, sell a strong red candle, followed by another green candle, and also retraced more than seventy percent. So this is telling you that okay, the gold may have support from one three two three, and you can still continue to buy the gold, okay, and aim for one three thirty five and one three forty four. But if you, if the gold ever pull back to one three forty four, you should close all your alarm because it may just turn round, right? Okay, and let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart of gold still remain bullish, right? Still remain bullish because we are still having a, a you know a higher high, higher low. Break out, higher high. This is a low. This low already breaks this low. So, uh, long term wise, gold have this trend line. Okay. So don't be so bearish for the gold. But I'm looking for a, probably a rebound sell here and see whether it can break down. Okay. So this is my idea for the gold. Any questions? Please raise your hand or uh, please tell me. What can I help you? Because you may have a long position at the top, or you may have a sell position at, at below. So, uh, what you should do you should you, you still want to hold the position, or you want to cut loss, or you want to set a higher profit? You can just ask me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Give me some response. You want to keep? Okay. You want to keep the shorts, right? Uh, what 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 position you want to keep, long or short? One three fifty four. All right, good 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 uh, good sell good sell. All right, yeah. Do do remember that the reason I want to sell gold, uh, for for this pen is it actually have a, a touch to this uh, one point two seven two extension, which is uh, this measure from the swing low to swing high here. So the gold you see here, the one three forty three zero is very strong. It's really strong. Okay, because it just the, the price just tells you that okay, the Friday Friday low is at this level and the money gaps down. So this is actually a breakout. Okay, it tells you that okay, the, the market rejects gold for be beyond one three forty three. So at this one point two seven one point two seven two extension level, right? We already have a potential cipher pattern. We already have a potential cipher pattern because cipher pattern tells you that our, if the gold turns around, okay, it turns down from 1343, it may all the way drop to form this cipher pattern, right? But that would be very huge down, right? So you can, can you possibly can, you can catch a CD leg, right? You just need to find a pullback to sell. So this is possible. We're just saying this is possible, okay? From uh, from cipher cipher patterns, uh, the 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 definition, okay? So the gold have a this is a one ready, this is a second ready. The second ready only complete the bull's target. So once the bull's target is com complete, it may just goes down, right? So just be careful that gold may have a very strong fall, right? So uh, <laughs> but we are not going to guess the market. But if you are having a short from here. I mean, if you have stop loss above, above the high, possibly it may just give you a very, very nice profit, right? If you hold, right? It's technically, technically it's possible, right? <clears throat> okay, let's go to oil. Okay, the oil, uh, today I also published a chart. Let's go to four hour chart because I think that's a very, very um, nice shorting opportunities about 48.60 to 48.80. Right, because we have a strong sell breakdown in the price, I'm waiting for it to pull back. Right, uh, of course, the best selling area will be here. Right, but do take note: sometimes the price may not rally so much. So, what else 
tools can we use? We can use the Fibonacci, right? So we use the Fibonacci to measure, measure the from spring high to spring low, right? And yes, these works for 48.47 as well. Okay, this 618 pullback, right? Of course, you can still pending sell here, pending sell here, and pending sell here. We'll give you a better entry. Yeah, all your stop loss should be above the high. But what I want you guys to do is, you want to, I want you guys to catch the pullback to here and to sell. Sell it all the way. Understand? Yeah, reply me by six. If you understand, what, what should we do for the oil? Okay, Russell, you are, you are always the fastest. Yeah, we have a strong sell, right? So it makes the direction, the direction is done, right? Now if the price continues to rally, rally, it's just correction, correction move, right? So the impulsive move is done, right? Correction is still coming before. So we want to sell the high. So where is the high? 618 level is the high. The previous neckline is the high, okay? So sell the pullback, okay? Or you wait for the price to go there and make a double top pullback trade, you can short there also. Okay, that's also possible, but you need to watch the market to see the first try, second try fail to break 618 and you can see to sell the neckline, right? All right, good, cool. And in the, in, the, in the big picture, what we have is the oil really have a very, very nice downside room. Uh, let's look at here because we have a potential guardy pattern tells us it may just fall to 44 this possibility is there okay you are we are we are selling a potential lower high and all the way catch the downtrend if that happened right so you can hold your short all the way to 44. all right let's go to the weekly chart you can see more information because in the weekly chart what do we have we have uh, the, the oil, right, is actually uh, in a downtrend move, right? Correct. The high is getting lower. It's rejected by this downtrend line. And the low is also getting low as well. So the oil may just, you know, you know, it's possible in the weekly chart. Okay? Yeah. So. And of course, you can also draw this uh, triangle, right? Because there's no much room for the oil, this triangle, okay? It's a sy symmetry triangle, right? It tells you that either way is possible, it either breaks up or breaks down. So you can also consider to trade this triangle. If it breaks up, forget about the sell, okay? Find pullback to buy and aim higher. If it breaks down, Find pullback to short and aim lower, right? Very simple. Just don't forget the weekly chart. Aussie yen, all right? Okay, let's look at Aussie yen. What troubles you for Aussie yen? Um, Aussie yen daily chart, right? Okay, immediately what I have is Aussie yen breaks the bullish channel. You have a breakout, right? breaks down the channel so now the trend is sideways sideways why sideways because the low is not getting lower the low is equal and the high is also not getting higher right so what happened to all the yen is right you should have, you should actually consider to find this uh, bat pattern all right there's the harmonic patterns tells you that all the yen right you may want to sell it's about 98.99, right? That is a potential sell for the bat pattern for the Aussie yen, right? Okay, yeah. All right, dollar yen. Okay, let's have a dollar yen. Mm, all right, dollar yen, I think last week I have a losing trade on dollar yen because it breaks down the low, right? And I'm using the 618 pullback to buy. Okay, we, we, uh, I buy from here. I buy from this 618 level, which is 108.81. This is some 
I buy, and my stop loss was hit by this pain, right? But it's okay because if I if I'm not stop here, it continue goes for another 100 pips, right? I cannot take that risk, so you you should have stopped here, right? However, uh, for dollar yen right now, what you can do is after similar to the euro, okay? So guys, I want you to know that how you look at the market, how you first, right? We try to we try to uh, structure pullback or six one in here, and we are stopped here, right? We are stopped. We lose we lose this much. This is a lose the loss, right? And here you see a very long pin, and you see the pin bar was close up. So this is telling you that you should buy at this pin, right? Buy the breakout, buy the pin bars breakout of the upper side. So. If I enter the buy from the pin bar, okay, what will happen? Right, I buy from one one zero seven point seventy six. My stop loss is about one zero seven point thirty five. Sorry, thirty. Okay, it yeah, it pulls back. Right, give uh, give me a pullback trade to buy again, and now what do we have? We win another two hundred pips, right? It's okay that we have some loss about this range, right? We, lo we, lose, we lose this much, right? But then uh, if you have another signal or another trading plan, you, you, are, you, are, you are okay to earn it back or even higher, right? This is just by how you look at the charts, how you read the chart, how you know that where is the buyers, where is the sellers, where is the trend, right? And this gap up is actually a strong breakout. It breaks this level, okay? It breaks this level and continues to go up. So dollar yen, I think, it will test this here. You feel the gap on the day of September 2nd, which is 101.19, okay? The dollar yen may all the way goes to here, and then it may go down to retrace it. it. May retrace it. So the dollar yen, if the dollar yen retrace to here, one zero eight point fifty, I want to be buyer again. Okay, I would like to be a buyer if the do, if I see a pullback, and typically if a pullback is a kind of a three way pullback, which is A B C D patterns, right? You see the A B C and D. A, B, C, D patterns, right? Structure pullback, 618 level, right? So I'm going to look at the 108.50 for a buy. Okay? Clear? All right, don't chase the price. Don't buy high. Buy low. Buy low. Sell high if you want, right? If you can sell the, the gap still, right? Stop loss above 101.50. Aim for 108.50. That's how we play the market, how we how we trade. All right. So yeah, are we are you still following me? Are you still with me? You get my logic? Let's look at the 618 level, by the way. I can tell you that the 618 level will be exactly, yeah about this this level and i think it, the, the dollar yen may goes to here right the 618 level 108.38 okay all right let's go for the aussie dollar okay the aussie dollar testing the 0 0.81 level and it makes a reversal aussie dollar makes a reversal so what we should do is uh, wait for the pullback to sell all the again. Where is it going to pull back to 0 0.8050 or 0 0.8076? So I'm looking for this level to short Aussie dollar all the way. The Aussie dollar may have a deeper, deeper zo uh, room for, for down. And uh, today, a good, new, a good news for the sellers for Aussie is you look at the, the dollar, dollars, dollar yuan. Okay, today the dollar CNY have a very nice rally. So the Asian currency is going to be weakened, weakened. Okay, so uh, the Aussie may also fall. Right, that's uh, some because 
can see the the the, the, rem, the remaining B is all the way raising up. So it's actually push other Asian currency to go up. And typically typically it's the Aussie dollar to the C, the CNY, okay, to the B, the yuan, right? So uh, yuan goes up, Aussie goes up, yuan goes down, and it may just drive Aussie goes down also. Okay. <sighs> Any questions? Oh, dollar cat, right? Okay, let's go to dollar cat. Okay, dollar cat have a strong sell, okay, right? Because we know that uh, last time we want to buy, but the dollar cat breaks 1.24, right? And remember, one of our students says, do you remember Scott? What, stop, what Scott says is the dollar cat may have this AB, big ABCD pattern, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is telling you that yeah, the dollar can may still have a downside room, right? In the weekly ABCD patterns, right? But since it already breaks down a lot, but sometimes we, we know that the ABCD pattern may not may not complete, may not complete. So we need we need to look left to see where is the supporting area, where is the structure. Okay. The structure definitely is here. We find a structure at this level. So from 1.1919 to 1.2144, look at it here. The dollar cat breaks up and pulls back, and it just goes up again, right? So this level becomes so important for the dollar cat in the weekly chart. Understand? So. It's already hit into the previous supporting structure, right? You can only sell when this low was break, which is 1.19. 1.9 was broken and you want to sell, but you don't want to sell right now. You don't want to sell into a supporting structure, okay? So, uh, and weekly chart is actually forming a forming an inside bar. Forming, form an inside bar. Okay, let's go to the daily chart, what we have, because, the, the strength of the Canada comes from the interest rate hype, right? The Canadian bank just raised the interest rate. That's the, the, the whole idea, okay? Uh, I don't want you guys to buy, to catch the falling knife because it just, you know, it continues to fall. It's lower, 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 low, always lower, low, right? You pull back and sell, pull back, sell. You should, you should keep on selling, all right? <coughs> right now, what do we have? We don't have any, any supporting or any double bottoms, right? So you better watch the market first. Okay, you watch either when it goes up here, another second time test, and it goes. You buy here. Understand? Have a two try rule. Two try rule. Right? Two try means this is the first try, telling you this is a low. Second try is here. This is second try. Second test, but cannot break the low, and you find a pullback to try and aim higher. All right, that's the only only way to trade the reversal in a big, big, big downtrend move reversal. Right, find some bullish patterns for you. All right, okay. Uh, what what else? I think we have covered the most of the markets. I'm sorry, I, I what BZUN that that is stocks, right? Is that stock? Thousand. Okay, our okay for well, daily charts looks so bullish, right? And already fill the gap, so I think you should take some profit. <laughs> don't sell, don't sell, but you should take profit because this gap, this gap, right? If something happens, some sellers are there, so you should take some profit, right? Okay, but if if, if the breaks up here and pull back, you can still to buy. Okay, but right now you don't want to buy anymore, and you want to reduce your position. You should take some profit. Things you said, you said you have a lot of both. Okay, and YRD. What is YRD? Iran die. Okay. Uh, this one you can keep. This one you can keep because the breaks are high. So it tells you it still continue goes up. Right, and you should use this ABCD move to give you a hint where you should take profit. So let's measure the ABCD move. OK. 
okay? Uh, let's measure from here to here. And I mean, uh, okay, so I think the, 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 the upside potential is about 44.75, right? From this A, B, C, D move. I take some profit, right? Uh, German, German 30, right? Okay, let's, okay, sure. Someone asked for DAX, okay, DAX. All right, for DAX, uh, it's kind of a gap up, gap up, okay? All the way, gaps up, and uh, yes, you're right. It's a 618 pullback, okay? However, the upside momentum is still strong, right? It may become sideways, sideways, and go up again, right? So you don't want to short it right now. You don't want to short it right now with a strong bullish trend, okay? So remember, what you should do is wait for the price to consolidate here, consolidate, and wait for it either breaks up or breaks the neckline, pull back to short, okay? You find some patterns for you to short at this level, but you don't just directly short here just based on 618 level. Sometimes the market just don't recognize the 618 level, right? Because this is a bullish trend. So what you should do is look at here. This is a breakout, right? So the price may pull back to here and continue to rally and to test the previous high. Remember that S&P has already had an all-time high, right? Right, even the hurricane, the, the other tornadoes or hur hurricanes cannot cannot stop it, right? So the DAX may also pull back and buy. So you should consider to buy of this breakout, okay? Buy the breakout and pull back. This one is maybe your buying opportunities. You don't want to short without any confirmation, All right? Cool? Okay, uh, let's look at the S&P 500. Okay, every time I will, we just, uh, uh, I'm sorry, okay, yeah. The S&P, uh, we have a nice uh, patterns last week, right? It's here, right? Yeah, I think we, we did, right? We did a very nice sell from 2480, right? And uh, it actually hit the target of this structure here, right? This is a structural breakout, pullback, A, B, C, D move, right? So you should buy here, and now you enjoy the profit, and take some profit here, right? Because this kind of keeps going up, you should take some profit. Okay, for the S&P, I just want to highlight that, uh, yeah, there's still uptrend, but we don't know how far it can still go, and it's really quite dangerous for you to buy at a very high place, okay? Because a, a, just a simple, you know, sell off you are gone right so you want to buy you don't want to buy high uh the only area you want to buy is here is 2480 okay if you if the price pulls back to here you may it may have some support and you want to buy but don't buy high okay don't chase did you cover sterling aussie yes i covered sterling aussie is doing fantastic right we have a very nice buy from this uh, last time when we do the webinar and also when we when I published trading view. Okay, the studying Aussie trade was so so good, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a this is a trade that we catch, right? We catch from here 1.26 all the way to 1.25. Right? Take some profit. Take some profit, right? Buy it again, buy it the pullback the to the structure by the by the pullback, right? Just wait for the price to pull back to here and buy it again. Kiwi Canadian, okay. Kiwi dollar. Right. Let's look at the Kiwi first. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, the steel is still a. Uh, uh, I'm still thinking this uh, hand and shoulder pattern still 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 working, uh, because. Uh, I, I was saying that to sell the pullback to 0 0.72, and uh, your stop loss should be above the right shoulder, which, which is here, about 0 0.7350, and uh, we see a long pain here, and today is the second second test. So if the Kiwi cannot break 0 0.7350, we 
you can remain your short. Okay, remain your short. Okay, just stick with your plan. All right, stick with your plan. Uh, go to one hour chart. What we can see is right. We really have a nice uh, trade for the pullback is here. The structure is here. So zero point seventy three twenty is a very strong sell off place. Right. So you see here, it makes a reversal here. So uh, any pullback, you should short. You should short. Okay. Stop loss. I think. 0.7360. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's all of today. And uh, for uh, for Singapore students, uh, remember to join my uh, to join my live seminar uh, on Thursday, which is two days later. Singapore students, yeah, we can. Uh, I think I already published, right? So you should already know the, what, what events that we, uh, we have. Yeah. So uh, together I was, uh, sorry, what happened? Forbidden. Why this is forbidden? Uh, I was I'm, I'm 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 collaborating with Online Traders Club Singapore on two one seven September fifteenth, and uh, we will talk something about how to build the income stream through professional trading, and I will uh, release some of my strategies uh, on the live show, right? And on the day itself, when the market is still running, I may or uh, tell some uh, put tell some trade or tell uh, spot some trade so if you want to join just join all right uh, that's a uh, yeah that's a very that's uh, the, the very important seminar for me in the September because I, I I just hold a uh, course in Shanghai for one uh, last week and this week I'm going to Singapore and next week I'm going back to Shanghai again so I uh, was quite busy and uh, um, I really want to Stick with you guys, so uh, just keep keep the connection with me, all right? Uh, book, all right? Because I, every time I will just to tell you where's the link for any webinars, and the webinars will be on a weekly basis. So every week I'm going to tell you some something. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I don't think we can I can share that in YouTube because I'm not the I'm not the the, the host. So I cannot I cannot record anything, right? Because that that will be a like 100 people's or uh, or uh, conference. So uh, I'm afraid not. Uh, I cannot uh, send any recordings, right? Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, you can, you are always welcome to Singapore to join, okay? And uh, uh, lastly, uh, yeah, I would, like, I, would like, I would like to thank you guys because to join as my students, as my fans, and uh, that or give me the strength or give me the, uh, give me the, the stamina, right? The, uh, to keep, keep what I'm doing right now because I'm doing all the things for, uh, to publish ideas in trading view and to give free seminars give free talks right because i think what i do will be worth worthy right if i can help some people to to get some good trade or get get, get rid of uh being you know caught by high or sell low right buy high and sell low i think uh, i will be most uh cool, right okay so yeah that's all yeah if you have time to come to China, just remember to visit me, all right? And uh, yeah, good luck. Plan your trade and trade your plan. See you, bye-bye.